So, there's been an interesting update from the upcoming project, Devil in the White City, the Martin Scorsese and Leonardo DiCaprio film, which has been in development hell for quite some time now. For those who don't know, Devil in the White City, Murder, Magic and Madness at the Fair that Changed America, is a novel written by Eric Larson. It's a historical non-fiction book, even if some of the facts regarding H.H. H. Holmes have been called into question in recent years. But in any case, it tells the story of the 1893 Chicago Fair from the viewpoint of its architects, such as Daniel Burnham, and his building of the fair and the struggles he had to overcome. Simultaneously, we follow the story of H.H. H. Holmes, who is widely regarded as America's first modern serial killer who lures his female victims to their death by charming them into his elaborately built home, dubbed the Murder Castle. It's a good book, you pretty much read it to learn about Holmes, but you end up enjoying the building of the fair equally, if not more. In 2010, Leonardo DiCaprio purchased the film rights to the book, and the movie was supposed to be directed by Martin Scorsese, written by Billy Ray. But since then, it's not really moved forward in a serious manner, especially what with how busy Scorsese is. I did hear he halted the editing on his 2016 film Silence to work on the script, and in the same year he called it an extraordinary story. There's a suggestion that the filmmakers were trying to crack the material in such a way to make it work as a film because, as anyone who's read the book will know, it doesn't really feel like it would work as a movie and lend itself to being a TV show instead. Funnily enough, a few years later it was revealed that the project was now a Hulu TV series, with Scorsese no longer attached to direct and DiCaprio no longer starring, but both staying on as executive producers. But again, things have gone quiet, up until very recently, when it was announced that Keanu Reeves, who recently starred in The Matrix Resurrections, is in talks to star in the series. That doesn't mean he's cast yet, of course, but if anything, it shows that there are clear, tangible attempts to move this project forward. Apparently, it's going to be a limited TV series, and Todd Field is set to direct the first two episodes. In terms of the overall project, it was really exciting when it was first announced, and behind perhaps only The Irishman, sounded like the most interesting project Scorsese was attached to. Him no longer directing might be a disappointment, but something tells me a lot of the themes he was looking to tackle with the film, he's transferred over to his next picture, Killers of the Flower Moon. Devil in the White City feels like it works better as a series than a movie anyway, so that's good news at least. And Keanu Reeves... Well, I like him as much as the next guy, he seems like a really decent fellow, but I don't really see him being right for this project. I can't see him as Holmes, so I guess he'll be cast as Daniel Burnham, which, again, I don't really think he's right for. So what do you think about this news? Are you looking forward to Devil in the White City? Who would you like to play H.H. H. Holmes? Let me know in the comments below, and thanks for watching.